What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Duran, and we're here to talk about Miami Dolphins quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick. And was it fair that he got benched for Tua Tonga Viola? Um, <clears throat> you know, it's been a couple days now. You know, we've got to hear testimonies from the coaches, from the, the management, from Ryan Fitzpatrick himself about the situation. And, uh, you know, I think the consensus is that Ryan Fitzpatrick got screwed because the Miami Dolphins are 3-3. Three and three. But, um... No, I don't think um, Brian Fitzpatrick got screwed. I think, you know, the inevitable just happened. He already admitted and knew he was a placeholder. I think they just sped that process up when they realized, you know, they weren't winning anything this year. And uh, they have a real chance to actually make the playoffs and make a berth. And I think they felt that Tua, Tua Tonga Viola was ready to play. You know, that's the most important thing is they felt Tua was ready to play and they were comfortable They were comfortable from what they were seeing in practice. I don't think those last two plays at the end, those last two throws did anything to change their mind. I think they always had a plan to switch them at the uh, bye week. At the bye week, six games in, we're going to switch these quarterbacks. And I, I don't know. Ryan Fitzpatrick said he was shocked by the news. He shouldn't be shocked. You know, he six games is about where he gets switched out. Six games, six games is about the about the mark that Ryan Fitzpatrick against benched at. And um, people say that you know he was balling out, and I mean he was playing okay. I mean I guess the Jesse threw two bad picks. You know, well one of them wasn't his fault, but he threw, he, he threw a bad pick one of those games, both that, that game against the Jets. And uh, I mean I don't think he played all that well. You know, 190 some yards three TDs, two picks. Uh, you know, I, I don't think he, he was playing all that. I don't think he was that much deserving. And <clears throat> their timeline for Tua Tonga Viola shouldn't be dictated by um, Ryan Fitzpatrick play. <laughs> I mean, Ryan Fitzpatrick is not the future. He was not, he, and he's currently not the present. And they didn't, obviously never thought he was the present. So why even play this game of let's just let, let him ride out and keep playing to his heart content you know they're they're not doing anything this year they want to see what they have in their quarterback and they're tired of being in this purgatory of quarterback of qbs where they don't know who the guy is and they have to continue to try to find the guy each year in the draft or in the free agency they don't want to do that anymore and i think they're completely fair if they had a plan for Tua tongue and that plan was to let it for him to start at the bye week at whenever after six games then I don't think they did anything wrong. They had a plan for this quarterback. They had a plan for him to play. Ryan Fitzpatrick, they, when they brought him in, they told him, you are a placeholder. We want you to teach our young quarterback, groom him, and then we will put him in. Well, they didn't have to inform him of when they were doing that, but that's how the, that's how the, you know that's how it falls you know you got to fall on the, the things that the chips that the, um, the cars that are dealt to you and in, in real life the Dolphins I feel like made a great move you know doing it at the bye week doing it before you don't know anything doing it before the fans got invested in the Fitzpatrick doing it before it became more of a problem when you actually got a winning record if, if you got a winning record because it's hard to make a switch when you have a winning record because then people are saying you're just messing with a good thing doing it at three and three the bye week you know going in where you can go ahead and get him ready for two weeks now i think that's a good i think that's a good move and it's a brian flores move he's gonna do whatever he wants you know no one's gonna dictate and tell him what he can and cannot do and um moving forward i think the Dolphins will not make the playoffs. <laughs> I don't think they were gonna make the playoffs with Ryan Fitzpatrick. So I, I don't I don't see why this move shocked anyone. I don't see why this move people feel like this move is gonna change their season for them. They weren't gonna do anything anyway. I mean, this year was all about trying to develop their talent. And obviously the first half of the season was about getting Tua Tonga Viola ready to play. But and I love this move because I hate when teams sit quarterbacks for a redshirt year. Especially, you know, quarterbacks drafted, you know, within the top 10. Like, those players have to play. You invested those players. Those players have to play. And you want to see a return on those players. And that's just what the Miami Dolphins want to do. They invested a top a top 10 pick on that player. And they want to see an, they want to see a reward for it. They want to reap the rewards for the, the time that they put into the Tua Tonga Viola, this player. Well, that's all I got for this subject. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.